Wherever you happen to be in the world, when it comes to motorcycles, there's one name that everyone's heard of. And while we're on the subject of hearing, there isn't even any need for one of the machines to come into your line of vision, because the sound will tell you long before that the motorcycle in question is a Harley Davidson. Always guaranteed to turn heads, whether an all-time classic or a state-of-the-art muscle machine, the popularity of Harley-Davidson is universal. However, like so many of the great motorcycle giants, it all started from the humblest of beginnings. In America, as in Britain and Japan, the idea of attaching an engine to a standard bicycle frame quickly took off. Harley-Davidson were not the first in the USA to do this, as the Indian Motorcycle Company just pipped them to the post. However, among the rolling hills of Milwaukee back in 1901, old childhood friends William S. Harley and Arthur Davidson added a small engine designed by Harley to a regular bicycle frame, and history was made. Within just a few years, the pair had made quite a name for themselves, and with the opening of a factory, upped the production of motorcycles as the new century progressed. But as the storm clouds of the First World War gathered momentum across Europe, America soon became drawn into the conflict. And as the USA joined the fight against Kaiser Wilhelm and Germany in 1917, Harley-Davidson were commissioned to produce some 20,000 motorcycles. It was the first time that motorcycles had been used in military combat, and Harley-Davidson certainly gained valuable experience. By 1920, they had become the largest motorcycle manufacturer in the world, and were also gaining quite a reputation on the racetracks. While America enjoyed the bright lights of Hollywood as the movie industry captivated the world. In fact, the future was positively sparkling all around until the Wall Street crash marked the end of the Roaring Twenties and the Great Depression plunged the whole world into an economic decline. Then, within the short space of 10 years, Europe was ready to go to war again as Adolf Hitler and Nazi Germany became ever more aggressive. Once more, America found itself drawn into the fray and Harley-Davidson quickly turned their attention back to military production. And as well as supplying the U.S. military machine, other allied nations were keen to take their bikes as well. For many motorcycle manufacturers, the post-World War II era was a time of expansion, and Japanese names like Yamaha, Suzuki, and Kawasaki started to give Harley-Davidson some top-flight competition. Even so, the development of the classic two-cylinder V-twins saw them fight their corner. And when it came to police bikes for the U.S., there was only one name in the frame. And by the time the iconic Fat Boy was introduced in the 1990s, Harley-Davidson had once again stamped their authority on the motorcycling world. So without further ado, it's time to take a closer look at the hogs that have made Harley-Davidson the highly respected company that it is today. And if you're wondering what these sleek growling machines have in common with the rather weighty farmyard animal, just look to the initials of the Harley owners group. Far from being a coincidence, this celebrates the tradition of a band of 1920s farm boys who won so many races on their Harleys, they took their mascot, a real live hog, for a ride round on their victory laps. This truly epitomizes the great enthusiasm that these great machines continue to inspire, as each new generation discovers what a Harley-Davidson really has to offer. The first Harley-Davidson we're going to take a look at is the VRSCF V-Rod Muscle, which without doubt lives up to its name and then some.
really tend to be best known for their classical image. Indeed, it's what drove the company's success through the 80s and 90s. They clearly understand that innovation is every bit as important. New generations of bikers, not necessarily influenced by nostalgia, but still keen to sport their Harley-Davidson badge, needed to be nurtured and offered all the up-to-the-minute technology that particularly their Japanese competitors are famous for. With this new breed of rider in mind, the VRSC, standing for V-Twin Racing Street Custom Series, was born, benefiting from a rather racier appearance while maintaining the muscle bike feel that all Harley enthusiasts enjoy. A descendant of the original V-Rod, which was released back in 2001, this bike oozes ride-me appeal and without doubt lives up to everything it promises. This range of Harleys also includes the standard V-Rod and Night Rod special bikes. And while these motorcycles do all have minor differences, one thing they all have in common is the brilliant Revolution engine. Based upon the VR1000 Superbike race program developed by both Harley-Davidson's own engineering team and Porsche engineers in Germany, any test ride will demonstrate its undisputed pedigree. This is a liquid-cooled, dual overhead cam, internally counterbalanced 60-degree V-twin engine, boasting a hefty 1,250 cc while kicking out 121 horsepower and 85 pounds of torque. This engine became standard in all V-Rod motorcycles from 2008 onwards, after initially only having been used in the Screamin' Eagle version of the bike. When it comes to looks, the V-Rod range is certainly more angular and streamlined in appearance than Harley's main range of cruisers, with a definite look of a racing machine. The muscle continues this mantra with its wide side air intake covers and twin side-mounted exhausts, cleverly doing all in its power to mimic muscle car styling. This also sets it apart from the other VRSC machines as they are more conventional with the dual over and under exhaust setup more commonly found on motorbikes of this size. While the sportier aspects of a bike will generally draw more attention at the outset than any features of a more practical nature, the muscle does throw some interesting developments into the mix. Moving away from standard bulb technology, the muscle sports LED indicators, which are incorporated into the design with the stop-turn light aesthetically integrated into the rear fender. These are highly practical and essential features, but they are very much in keeping with this bike's distinctive styling. The broad, clipped and clean rear fender balanced with the trimmed front fender that's blacked out behind satin finish inverted forks will always be eye-catching. And without doubt, this bike looks just as good from every viewpoint. Now, as great as this bike's appearance is, there's far more to it than good looks alone. The V-Rod muscle lives up to its name and lineage in spectacular fashion, accelerating ferociously when required or more smoothly for everyday riding. The exhilaration is nonetheless spectacular. And even when you have to hold back because of road conditions, the sense that this machine is ready, willing, and raring to go is never absent for a second. There are those who have questioned this bike's turning capabilities at lower speeds, but with its wide 240 millimeter rear tire, when out on the road there seems to be no problem taking the bends with the best of them. And to complement this excellent set of credentials when it comes to braking, Harley have utilized the experienced folks at Brembo to provide four piston discs front and rear. This gives the rider absolute confidence that the bike can be kept under control whatever the situation. And with optional ABS offered, what more could any true Harley enthusiast ask? Another added bonus is the surprising degree of comfort offered by the muscle, complete with a two-tier leather seat and attached pillion area. The footrests are situated in the forward chopper style, but due to the location of the handlebars and upholstery, the seated angle for the rider is slightly forward, as opposed to the more laid-back style of the more traditional Harley-Davidsons.
This more modern approach to motorcycle styling is definitely attracting a new generation of Harley enthusiasts. But there's no denying what Harley Davidson do best, and if it's road presence you're after, then look no further. Fat Bob's very possibly the perfect bike for you. The Harley-Davidson FXDF Fat Bob is an integral part of the Dyna lineup of motorcycles, which are synonymous with large twin engines and traditional Harley styling. As a range, they can be distinguished from the soft tails as a result of their coil-over suspension, and are different again to the Sportster with their somewhat meatier engines. Initially introduced to the marketplace in 2008, the Fat Bob has seen some changes that have improved its imposingly aggressive style. Further tweaks followed in 2009, and today many would argue that this edition is one of the best looking bikes that Harley Davidson have to offer. Like several of its competitors, the Fat Bob is powered by a hefty twin cam 1584 cc engine that has brought Harley so much praise over recent years. And being rubber mounted to help reduce vibration, the rider will definitely enjoy a more comfortable ride. As you would expect, there's plenty of torque and an abundance of horsepower, but the growl of this machine is what many describe as poetry in motion. And when it comes to looks, the Fat Bob certainly has a lot to recommend it. But for many Harley enthusiasts, one of the greatest joys of this machine is the fact that it's itching to be customized. Customization is an integral part of the Harley-Davidson owner's community, and adding accessories to your hog is something that many would consider pretty much a necessity whether improving the performance of the bike or its stylish looks. However, this doesn't have to be the case because just as many again simply want to stand out from the crowd. While on all motorcycles in the Dyna range, you can modify everything from the brakes to console trim, lighting, horns, and suspension, one of the most popular upgrades for the Fat Bob is the Stage 1 tuning. This is actually a complete package that involves the upgrading of the exhaust system, a remapping of the fuel injection, and the replacement of the air filter with a high flow version. From the rider's point of view, the performance will undoubtedly be improved and with the added bonus of altering the exhaust note to a more aggressive tone, it's an all-round winner. The classic view of the Fat Bob has to be from face on, as its low-profile front fender with color-matched brace supports presents a unique look for a Harley-Davidson. In contrast, the bobtail rear fender is much larger. But that said, this is another Harley that's amazing whichever way you look at it. While the majority of these bikes that you'll see out on the road will have had some degree of customization, the Fat Bob does come with all the chrome options you'd expect from a motorcycle rolling off the Harley-Davidson production line. You get the standard chrome console, chrome two-on-two -two collector exhaust system, 
twin chrome headlamps and a chrome oil tank, although not in the horseshoe style of other Harley models. In line with its more aggressive looks, the Fat Bob isn't quite as comfort-centric as other Harleys in the range, but fans of this bike are more than happy. The seat is still top quality and uses the one-piece, two-up Dyna Classic formation, but it's not huge on padding. The footrests are also forward-mounted to give the rider a more laid-back profile, as well as adding a much racier appearance to the mix. To complement this further, Harley have fitted stainless steel drag handlebars for that all-time classic riding position, giving the ultimate effortless appearance while maintaining complete control of the motorcycle. All in all, the Fat Bob is a stunning bike to look at as well as to ride. But for the Harley-Davidson purists, something a little more nostalgic might be more to your taste. And for anyone keen to invoke memories of Easy Rider, our next bike could well be just what you're looking for. Retaining their classic image while still offering innovation with a wide range of different bikes is no mean feat, but Harley-Davidson does this in fine style. This is never more evident than in the case of the Softail group of bikes that despite having all the edge and attitude of the hardtail choppers synonymous with the 60s and 70s, have all the comforts and ease of ride that you'd expect from a 21st century classic. Many would argue that the real jewel in the crown of this range of bikes is the Heritage Softail Classic, offering retro styling with precision state-of-the-art engineering lurking beneath the nostalgic image. Designed as a comfortable long-range tourer, the Heritage comes bursting with features designed to appeal to the biker that likes the best of all worlds, with more than a measure of originality and flair. A prime example is the bug-splatting Lexan windshield, which long-distance riders certainly appreciate. However, if you're looking for a blast from the past, it's easy to detach, along with the very practical passenger seat for anyone longing for some laid-back cruising. Also, the retooled 1940s-style studded leather saddlebags are very accommodating for those ever-inviting road trips as well as adding to the eye-catching good looks of this sleek-lined, classy motorcycle. Every inch of this bike screams Harley style, even down to the white wall tires, full front and rear fenders, and of course, the Harley-Davidson signature badge to add to the nostalgic ambiance. There's no doubt about the pedigree of this machine, whichever way you happen to look at it. But a Harley just wouldn't be a Harley without a full measure of chrome to really make it stand out from the crowd. And the Heritage Softail is no exception. You can't miss the console reveling in an abundance of it, accentuating the rather curvaceous cat's eye design with its centralized speedometer. And the sparkle doesn't stop there, as you'll find plenty of chrome highlighting on the horseshoe-style oil tank and staggered shorty exhaust with dual mufflers. What's more, this Harley isn't just all about looks and performance because rider and passenger comfort has been a major consideration. Even the sculptured pillion with a wider profile than most bikes has been contoured for passenger comfort and for those longer journeys is always very much appreciated. However, this is a Harley and performance is what it's really all about. Now, although there are those who would argue that the soft tail isn't exactly the king of the road, doing just over a hundred when pushed to the top end, it's nonetheless an exhilarating ride. Its lazy pull towards the horizon oozes cruiser mentality and is guaranteed to turn heads. That said, this 1584cc chunky twin cam engine means that however relaxed this bike's demeanor, it can rise to the challenge if you're looking to get where you're going in a hurry. And also, the 63 brake horsepower, along with a generous helping of torque, 
ensures there's plenty behind the throttle for those moments where you really want to let rip. And let's face it, that really is what riding on the wild side is all about. Interestingly, the 96B trademarked engine is so called because of a redesigned engine block, which along with twin chain-driven counterbalancers, was instigated to cut vibration when mounted straight onto a soft tail frame. The first incarnation of this twin cam engine, the 96A, wasn't mounted in this fashion and was not considered for the soft tail range of bikes, as there would have been vibration problems. In other bikes, this wasn't such an issue as they were rubber mounted, but the soft tails required something that bit more special. With the addition of the counterbalancers, the 96B makes for a thoroughly smooth riding experience, despite the fact that some traditionalists have said that they miss the old Harley rumbles. Guess it's impossible to please all of the people all of the time, even when you're considered to be the world's favorite motorcycle manufacturer. Also, it's worth considering that when compared to other models in its class, the Heritage Softail does have many distinct advantages, even though it is a little more costly than the more standard Road King. It still represents good value for money, and thanks to the weight distribution being fairly low, it's also lighter than both the Road King and the Electroglide, making it delightfully easy to handle. In fact, many would class the Heritage Softail as one of the most user-friendly Harleys, but this comfortable tourer loses nothing when it comes to style. And so we come to the most iconic Harley-Davidson ever made, the eponymous Fat Boy, the ultimate expression of motorcycle chic. When the Fat Boys first appeared in the 1990s, Harley-Davidson was just emerging from a very challenging period of trading. During the post-World War II era, after the Hollywood movie industry had portrayed Harleys as the machine of choice of Hell's Angels, sales plummeted to an all-time low and the company almost went bankrupt. After a major shakeup in the 1980s, Harley-Davidson improved the performance of their machines while exploiting their retro appeal, and the Fat Boy quickly captured the public imagination. The Fat Boy also belongs to the Softail group of Harleys, and actually has the same 96B engine as the Heritage Classic. And with plenty of torque, along with a meaty 60 brake horsepower, this is a motorcycle that most definitely means business. However, while the Fat Boy might belong to the same class of bike as the Softail Heritage, there's nothing soft about this mean machine when it comes to comparisons. Offering up a much gruffer exterior, the Fat Boy might lack the extreme retro feel of the Heritage Classic but it still exudes the traditional Harley image of enjoying the freedom of the open road. In 
In terms of aesthetics, the Fat Boy's front fender is rolled back to reveal far more tire than we saw on the Heritage. And without the large windshield at the front, this bike looks nothing like a Tourer. The exhaust is different too, because instead of a staggered shorty option, the Fat Boy comes complete with an over-under shotgun setup with dual mufflers. Just visually, this makes for an altogether rougher, tougher image. And with the black powder coating over the engine itself, the Fat Boy has a look that will appeal to just about everyone. As you would expect of the most iconic Harley, there's also plenty of chrome. And although this does require some elbow grease when it comes to polishing, nobody seems to mind. Look out for the chrome horseshoe oil tank, bullet headlamp, isolated riser, and as the entire fuel tank console is also gleaming chrome, this is without doubt a shining example of what Harley-Davidson is capable of. The console is certainly retro in its design, and although a classic could be described as a tad basic, the speedometer has a nostalgic look with a neatly incorporated LED readout odometer, proving that modern engineering and classical style can blend effortlessly. With solid 17-inch wheels front and rear and a wide 200-millimeter rear tire, you're guaranteed plenty of grip, along with the added benefit of extremely responsive handling. And of course, with a rear profile as fantastic as this, anyone you happen to overtake in a cloud of noise and Harley rumbling will get a truly spectacular view of one of the best looking motorcycles on the road today. Now, as vital as speed is, the braking capacity of a bike like this is equally important. There are, however, no worries on this score as the Fat Boy is extremely well endowed. Using single disc, four piston units at the front and a single disc two piston equivalent at the rear, delivering excellent reliability every time. However, that said, this is quite a lot of bike to handle. And short of emergencies, giving yourself extra braking time where possible is always to be advised. This brings us neatly onto the ride, and this beautiful motorcycle allows you all the relaxation and style you could possibly ask for. Yes, you've all the power you could possibly ask for, despite the fact that some complain about the agricultural nature of the gearbox. However, one of the biggest compliments the Fat Boy regularly receives is that it's as comfy as an old armchair. With footboards set well forward, the Fat Boy is the ultimate in laid-back comfort. And although this might not be a cutting-edge up-to-the-minute design, the reason for its continuing popularity with 21st century riders is the fact that it works. The if it ain't broke, don't fix it motto applies here big time. And if sales are anything to go by, the fat boy is going to be pleasing new generations of riders for many more years to come. And while we're on the subject of sales, if you do go for a brand new Harley-Davidson, you'll be offered a fine selection of paint jobs. And if you've chosen a fat boy, there are plenty of options. Whether vivid black, black pearl, pewter pearl, flame blue pearl, black denim, or red hot sun glow with gleaming chrome to accentuate, you're talking awesome good looks. There's also a choice of wheel shading, either the silver cast aluminum bullet hole disc or the slightly flashier polished chrome version, so you really can suit yourself. But as you can probably figure out, a package like this does come at a price. Not that this should put you off, because when you look at comparable Japanese machines, you may pay rather less at point of sale, but remember, the minute you wheel it out of the showroom, you're likely to have wiped a costly amount off its value. Harley-Davidson's are renowned for keeping their value, especially when they are customized. This is equally true across the entire range of Harleys, and although the Fat Boy really is a very good all-rounder, 
with its growling performance and comfortable ride, when it comes to touring, there are some excellent specialist options. And our next bike, the Ultra Classic Electroglide, is hard to beat. As well as being known for their laid-back cruisers and growling monsters, Harley-Davidson will always be the ultimate dream machine when it comes to the much-loved road trip. This ultra-classic Electroglide is without doubt the perfect grand tourer that simply wolfs up the miles in absolute comfort and all the while exuding that Harley-Davidson growl. And of course, much of that is down to the engine itself, which is an air-cooled twin cam 96, which you'll find in many Harley Davidsons at 1,584 cc's, giving the smoothest of rides with more than enough torque and 67 horsepower. Now, while this may all seem rather familiar, think again, this is a very different beast. The Ultra Classic Electroglide comes complete with a patented four-point rubber mounting system that goes to extreme lengths to prevent the kind of vibration that's perfectly acceptable in short bursts, but definitely not on when it comes to long distance touring. Also, there's a user activated cutoff, which allows for the temporary deactivation of the rear cylinder when the bike is at standstill, reducing fuel consumption, vibration and heat output all in one go. All of these factors have been combined with a redesigned drive system that makes acceleration far smoother, allowing for better synergy between the rider and the road surface. This new setup is also integrated with the rear wheel compensator, which has been incorporated into the back wheel hub, leaving the delightfully clean lines of this bike undisturbed. Another problem that can cause extreme discomfort on long journeys is engine heat but with this motorcycle, it's kept well away from riders and their passengers. Harley have made sure that their classic 212 exhaust system runs underneath the main frame of the bike, keeping this potential hotspot at a safe distance. As impressive as all these vitally important engineering tweaks are, the real innovation for the biker with wanderlust can be found in the features designed to make even the longest journeys a comfortable experience. Along with the Lexan windscreen and adjustable fairing mounted air deflectors, you'll also spot the huge nose piece known as a batwing fork mounted fairing. This really does protect the rider from the elements, especially wind and rain. And although there's nothing like being out on the open road in fine weather, realistically you can never quite predict when you're going to get caught in a storm. 
You'll have to look behind this to find the stainless steel classic touring handlebars, either side of the impressive dashboard. Just a glance shows that they ensure a comfortable riding position. And once aboard this bike, you can't help but maintain a good posture, which in turn really will minimize aches and pains if you spend a long time in the saddle. Moving in closer to take a look at the dashboard, you'll spot amongst the dials the coup de gras of the Electroglide, the Harman Kardon Advanced Audio System, providing playback ability for not only AM and FM radio, but also CDs and MP3s. The sound from this setup is pumped through four 80-watt speakers, two of which can be found in the wings of the pillion seat, allowing rider and passenger to enjoy high-quality listening for the duration of the trip. All applications are controlled through the head unit, which has a small LED display for an easy-to-use system, even when traveling after dark. But when it comes to rider comfort, it's the seats on this tour that are truly out of this world. The classic two-up design has been modified into a single unit that allows supreme rider comfort, while providing a pillion something that is akin to an armchair. With soft leather upholstery for the ultimate in luxury, the Ultra Classic Electroglide is the undisputed winner when it comes to sitting comfortably across the entire Harley-Davidson range. Then add to this spec well-positioned full-length rider and passenger boards and no matter what your size or shape, getting comfy is never going to be a problem. While comfort is paramount for this tour, it's still vitally important to feel connected to the road so that you can control the bike with ease. This is taken care of with the upgraded suspension fork, keeping you in touch with the road at all times, making the unashamedly big-boned frame of this touring beast seem light and nimble when out on the highway. Just take a look as well at the stylish black cast aluminum wheels, complete with 28 spokes. At the front, you've got a 17-inch wheel, while it's a 16-inch diameter at the back, sporting a chunky 180-millimeter tire. This results in a firmer feeling ride without compromising on comfort. Watch out for newly applied multi-tread technology that was developed in conjunction with the folks at Dunlop to help reduce tire wear and ultimately make them last longer, which is always a plus on a bike designed to travel long distances. And if you're concerned about your luggage, fear not. Harley-Davidson have got it all covered. With increased storage space courtesy of the injection molded GTX saddlebags, what more could anyone ask of a stylish tourer? And the fact that they are fully lockable gives you great peace of mind when you're off sightseeing. However, you won't want to be away from the Ultra Classic Electroglide for long. And with cruise control and ABS as standard, you can really make the most of this motorcycle, fondly known as the daddy of the Harley Touring Range. Amazing as this Electroglide is, sporty it is most definitely not. But as you will have come to expect by now from Harley-Davidson, there are plenty of motorcycles coming off their production lines to satisfy those with racier tastes. And so we come to the Sportster range of Harley-Davidson's. And what you see here is the raunchy XL1200 Custom that shimmers with style. 
Despite looking every bit a contemporary motorcycle, the Sportster is in point of fact Harley's longest running family of bikes, having been first introduced in 1957. Conceived as a racing model, they were smaller and lighter than other Harleys, and today use either a 1200cc engine or the slightly smaller 883cc version. For many riders, this motorcycle with its nimble Sportster frame is the epitome of daredevil excitement, and taken at face value as an entry-level Harley, offers a great ride on the wild side. It may be a smaller engine than you'll find in the more classic Harleys, but with tremendous torque, certainly punches way above its class. Looks, as ever, are of paramount importance, and this bike screams out Harley style. There's a wide choice of single and two-tone paint options that not only adorn the main frame, but the front and rear fenders also, which use tire-hugging designs for that enviable, sporty image. The front fender is drawn back, giving the rubber lots of room to breathe, while the rear tire has a fully covered version conveniently anchoring the LED bulb stalks and the brake light. Moving forward, you'll quickly spot the standard one-piece, two-up Sportster seat. And as it's fairly low, this is actually a great bike for riders that aren't so tall. Add to this the low-slung, forward-mounted foot pegs, and you have a machine that has wide appeal for all shapes and sizes. This may be a sports model, but for those longer journeys, there's a sizable 17-liter fuel tank with a large Harley-Davidson badge across the side that leaves you in no doubt about this bike's classic heritage. And of course, you can't miss the clear control dials, but there is a difference here to the other models we've been looking at. Instead of chrome, look out for a fine, polished finish that very much complements the style of the Sportster, complete with a centralized speedometer with odometer readout at the base of it. After all, if you're out to burn some rubber, you need to know what your numbers are. The dash readouts are styled perfectly to match the low-rise handlebars, which are low-profile mounted with extensions ensuring controls are within easy reach for wherever you want your Sportster to take you. This is one good-looking motorcycle, and from the front, the large chrome bullet headlamp is lean, sporty, and very stylish. There are also plenty of chrome engine highlights to really stamp the Harley seal of approval on this bike and the wheels can truly be described as poetry in motion. With a lighter weight chrome slotted disc cast aluminum rear wheel and a chrome laced steel 21 inch spoked front wheel, this may be a dream of a sports bike, but it undoubtedly exudes style and class as well. It's no wonder the Harley Davidson Sportsters have survived the test of time. And just looking at this bike in action, you can be pretty sure that the Sportsters are set to continue thrilling Harley riders for the foreseeable future. As always, when taking time out to enjoy a little motorcycle indulgence, this hour is really slipping away from us now as our last Harley roars into view. We're back to the soft tail group of bikes where the FLS TSB Crossbones is never afraid to make its mark. To begin with, let's make no bones about it. This is an expensive motorcycle, 
and is never sold as representing good value for money. What you are paying for here is classic Harley-Davidson styling and presence. And if that's what you want, that's precisely what you will get with crossbones. When you first see the crossbones, you'll be shocked at the size of it. The V-twin engine at 1,584 cc's looks colossal, and weighing in at a massive 317.5 kilograms, this bike's appearance is imposing to say the very least. A face-on view gives you the full effect of the gloss black Springer front end, and there are many traditional Harley-Davidson features that are guaranteed to raise a smile. The Half Moon Rider footboards are certainly a blast from the past, and without doubt one of the first things you'll notice is the hand-stitched sprung seat. However, you might find yourself struggling to justify the purchase of the crossbones to your partner because it's immediately evident that promises of rideouts together are never going to happen. You're talking single-seater saddle here, and there's no way around it. Even so, the ride is fantastic, the epitome of cool. And with arm-high black mini-ape hanger handlebars to complete the effect, this is one solitary pleasure that you won't want to miss out on. The ride is surprisingly smooth, and some have suggested that being such a heavy beast, the crossbones simply squashes any bumps it comes across. But in reality, the soft suspension and sprung seat should actually be given the credit. Seeing the crossbones in action, you certainly expect to witness a great deal of power, but this is where this model comes in for its harshest criticism. In truth, it just doesn't have the grunt you'd imagine, being surprisingly quiet. Many Crossbones fans get round this with the addition of loud pipes, which solves the problem while allowing them to enjoy the smooth, incredibly so for a Harley, ride. At the end of the day, this is the ultimate cruiser, and at 50 miles per hour, it's at its best. It will give you a top speed of 90 miles per hour, but this is a machine to really chill out and enjoy. The Crossbones is the perfect bike if you're looking for a stress-busting time where you can sit back, relax, and ride your troubles away. With a motorcycle of this size, braking is a major consideration and it really is a case of the earlier the better. The stronger brake action is at the rear, and taking corners gently is very definitely to be advised. In fact, the longer the stretch of open road you can put in front of you, the better when you're riding the crossbones. However, whatever the criticisms, this is a truly beautiful looking motorcycle with acres of chrome to highlight the Harley styling. You've got a shimmering chrome straight over under exhaust with dual mufflers, contrasting effortlessly with the dark frame and powertrain. And of course, we have to give a special mention to the Willie G signed skull graphic that graces the oil tank. We're talking the ultimate in Harley Davidson appreciation here. Okay, you could buy a Japanese cruiser for a great deal less, but if you can afford the price tag and love your Harleys, then this is likely to be the perfect purchase. Sadly, we really are running out of time, but hopefully by now, despite the overwhelming power of the Harley-Davidson name, you'll have realized that there are many, many variations upon this iconic theme. But of all the motorcycle manufacturers the world has ever known, none have ever come close to creating the remarkable sense of identity that is enjoyed by Harley riders on a global scale.
What you see here is a prime example of how this manifests itself. Rideouts are a great experience, and whether organized among friends or by the Harley Owners Group, are hugely popular. The camaraderie is unmistakable, and in many cases, these events are charitable occasions, raising a lot of money for very good causes. There are just so many different Harley-Davidsons out on the road today, and with customization as well to consider, we can honestly say that no two motorcycles will ever be the same. Even our own rather time-limited selection of Harleys proves that. Kicking off with the V-Rod muscle, we were introduced to a motorcycle that really does live up to its name, which was very different in so many ways to the much-loved Fat Bob from the Dyna range. A heritage softtail classic demonstrated how tradition and modern engineering could be combined to great effect before the ultimate softtail, the fat boy, roared onto your screen. A taste of touring then with the ultra classic Electroglide made way for the excitement of the XL 1200 Custom Sportster. And last but not least, the crossbones really carried the flag for Harley-Davidson into the 21st century and beyond. Everyone, of course, has their own particular favorite. And as many Harley riders have been doing so for a considerable number of years, the nostalgia factor certainly adds to the mix as well. Nevertheless, whatever your choice of model, the gruff roar of the engine is as recognizable as any Harley-Davidson badge. And older classics, along with the very latest bikes rolling off the production lines, will always be sure of the warmest of welcomes. Undeniably, there was a time back in the 20th century when gangs of bikers, often with a fondness for Harley-Davidson's, were a cause for concern. But today, it's a very different story. Just as the company managed to overcome the downturn caused by this kind of bad publicity, so have the Harley-Davidson riders who have remained faithful to these truly iconic motorcycles. There are those who say, once a Harley man, always a Harley man. And this does seem to hold very true. And of course, we mustn't forget the Harley ladies, who are without doubt a delightful force to be reckoned with. As the Harley-Davidson motto demands, make every day count. These riders are certainly living up to the code, and whether a lone cruise down a wide open highway or out en masse, wherever you happen to be in the world, this is motorcycling at its very best. Ride on the wild side if you dare, but when you own a Harley-Davidson, you can be sure that every day will always count. <laughs>